What's going on you guys? My name is Zach Hartley and in this video I want to give you an update on my Bitcoin mining situation. As you probably know, Bitcoin prices have fallen off a cliff and I have invested a bunch of money into Bitcoin mining equipment. So in this video, I want to give you an update on how much money we're making, what the ROI looks like, what the electricity bills look like, and whether or not this was a good idea. So if you get any value out of this video, remember to click that like and subscribe button. Let's jump right in. Okay, so here's my situation right now. I currently have two Bitcoin miners. One of them is a GPU miner, basically a very high powered computer. And the other one is a Bitcoin specific miner. It's called an ASIC miner. And it's a very expensive machine. And all it does is mine for crypto. Um, basically, my strategy here is I'm going to run these machines into the ground until they just can't mine any longer. I'm going to mine all that Bitcoin. I'm going to hold that Bitcoin, hopefully for a few years and sell it at a massive profit. That's my strategy. And so far, it's not working out very well but if you want to see any of my videos where I unbox and put together my miners here are what some of the thumbnails look like on my channel I'll throw a little link up right now but definitely check that out and before we get into the numbers and what they cost I want to just give you a quick idea of what they look like and how they operate okay so this is what my ASIC miner looks like I have it set up here in my garage and it's a pretty simple machine it needs an ethernet cable to run it has two power cables here that go to a 240 volt outlet and it runs 24 7 pumping out a lot of heat and a lot of air and this thing can only mine bitcoin that is all it can do and i operate it from my desktop computer in my office now this miner here is what we call a gpu miner and it's basically just a high powered computer we've got a motherboard down in the center there we've got um, a power supply on the right hand side there and then we have these two graphics cards and these are the actual computer chips that are mining the cryptocurrency and then instead of kind of an enclosed case we have it on an open frame here for better airflow and then I have a mouse and a keyboard right here and as you can see it operates just like a normal computer I've got windows built in right there and I can watch YouTube I can run projects I can play video games I can do pretty much anything I want here I just have it hooked up to a TV for right now all right, so now that you've seen the miners themselves, let's start talking about my costs to basically build and acquire them. So the first thing is the ASIC miner, that silver Bitcoin miner that you saw in my garage. My total cost on that to get everything set up, including the electricity, the, the uh, ethernet cable, everything I needed cost me $13,572 Canadian. Now the GPU miner, or in other words, that high powered computer here, those two graphics cards cost me $2,139 each. And then the rest of the equipment here came to a total cost of $5,887.90 for a total Canadian cost of $19,460. So by the time I put my effort into setting all of this up, it was easily a $20,000 investment into this crypto mining equipment. Now this unit here, as long as it works, I can sell it very easily. There's actually a very large marketplace for this particular unit, so that's very good. And then the home-built miner or that GPU miner is actually just a high-powered computer. So in the event that I need a computer or I need to sell it off for parts, it should be very easy to do as well. Now, whether or not I get $19,000 for it is another question here. I don't know if the S19J uh, Pro, that ASIC miner that I bought, is worth as much money as I paid for it now just because of the price reduction in Bitcoin. Now, let's start talking about how much money I'm making. When I put this PowerPoint together last night, this was my total Bitcoin balance. And in Canadian dollars, it came out to $3,518.17. And I'm using NiceHash.com. This connects both of my miners. It brings to one central dashboard that's easy to use. I can see it from my phone and it gives me notifications if anything ever goes offline. So these are the numbers that I'm gonna use for my calculations, but I'll just show you what it looks like today. As you can see, I have two active rigs. I have two miners that are running and I currently have, well, as you can see, the price of Bitcoin has probably dropped a little bit, $3,444 Canadian, but I have 0.0919 uh, Bitcoin here, which might be a little bit higher than yesterday. So yeah, you can see I have more Bitcoin today, but as the price of Bitcoin has fallen, it's actually worth less. However, these are the numbers I'm gonna use because I did all the math last night when I was putting this together. So that is how much Bitcoin I have earned so far from those two miners but the real thing here is electricity electricity was something that has cost me a little bit more than I had forecasted for for instance I had locked in a three-year fixed rate at 0.0679 cents per kilowatt hour Canadian which is an extremely extremely good rate and so 
That's what I did most of, most of my math on. That's what I did all of my forecasting on. But what I didn't realize is that as my electricity usage went up, they drastically increased all of the service charges on my account. So I'm paying a little bit more electricity than I forecasted for. It's coming in at about $350 per month. And I have spent about $1,575 since I started mining. So we can do some simple math on this to get my return on my investment. And the calculation I'm gonna do is really simple. It's gonna be my total earnings minus the cost of electricity. I'm gonna put that together and then I'm gonna divide it by my upfront investment. And so the math looks like 3,500 minus that 1,575 divided by my $19,460 total investment means that I've gotten about 10% of my investment back so far in the form of mined Bitcoin. Now, if I extend this out over the course of the year, it gives me a 27% ROI on an annualized basis at the current price of Bitcoin of $29,802. Now, my 10% ROI that I've got so far is based off of January 1st to May 17th, which is pretty much the time period where I've been mining so far. And so overall, we are nowhere close to where I forecasted and where I projected and where I wanted to be with regards to my mining investment. Uh, but there's two reasons for that. One is the higher electricity cost that I didn't forecast for and I should have known about, but two is the drastic fall in the price of Bitcoin. For instance, if Bitcoin was still at $67,000, we would really be at about seven or $8,000 worth of earnings here, which would drastically improve our ROI. And so lots of different variables here, lots of different factors, but even with the price of Bitcoin falling off a cliff, coming down to around 29 or 30,000, I've made 10% of my money back so far in about five and a half months. And I'm looking at a 27% ROI on an annualized basis, which in my mind is extremely good. And hopefully Bitcoin doesn't crash down to five or 10,000 again. That is what uh, would really hurt the mining operation from here on. Now, here are my thoughts. Here's what you need to know about and uh, and here's what goes through my mind after a few months in this process. Number one, the success of any mining operation is heavily dependent on the price of Bitcoin or whatever currency you're mining. It doesn't really matter what electricity you're paying or what miner you have. If the currency that you're mining for is just falling in value, you're not going to do very well. That's what's happened to Bitcoin over the last few months, unfortunately. But my plan, like I said in the beginning, was to just run these miners for as long as I can, store and hold that Bitcoin for the long term. And if in five or 10 years it becomes very valuable, then hopefully this will have been a very good investment. Now, the ROI is definitely lower than I had forecasted, but compared to most asset classes right now, it's pretty satisfactory. If you hold cash right now, you're losing 8%. If you're in real estate in the last few months, you might've done okay, but you're probably not doing great. If you're in stocks or bonds, if you're in stocks for sure, you're not doing well unless you're in energy. And so overall, am I happy with the results? I'm, I'm not thrilled with the results, but I'm not super disappointed with the results. It's also been a fun experiment and it's been lots of, uh, lots of, personal satisfaction to learn how to do this and actually do it myself. So that's been nice. Uh, you also need to have cheap electricity and you need to have cheap service fees. That's the thing that really got me here is the service fees on my bill are just as much as the electricity fees, which I really didn't forecast for and I really didn't expect. But, uh, and that, and they hurt my profitability here, as you can see from the math calculations beforehand. Now, if you're interested in earning some cryptocurrency for yourself, you should definitely check out Newton. It is a crypto trading platform that is giving you $25 in completely free crypto. All you have to do is create an account using the link in the description down below, deposit $100 and they will give you $25, which is an instant 25% return on your money, which means you can make more money than I make, or at least a better return than I am making with almost no effort and you get like literally free money and you can also send this wherever you want afterwards which is very very nice I highly recommend it take advantage of noon that's the platform that I use every single day I mine on nice hash I store my crypto on noon and if I want it offline then I put it on a ledger but that's kind of how I manage my crypto I highly recommend it I also have several videos about them on my channel but literally a free $25 so if you got any value out of this video Remember to click that like and subscribe button. Sorry I'm not making hundreds of thousands of dollars for a fancy thumbnail here, but uh, hopefully you got some value out of the transparency. And I will see you guys in the next video. Good luck trading, good luck investing, and we'll talk to you soon.